Okay, we're going to make an OD turning simulation component <clears throat> supplied by MT Tooling or MD Tooling here in the US. This component has uh, two, two tool stations that uh, are going to face the main spindle. So looking at the solid when I import it from their CAD model, it's not oriented correctly for the way that we would load this onto our uh, machine setup in simulation. What we want is the turret uh, face to interface normally uh, with, you know, flush with this face here on the tool holder because this is going to basically sit up against the turret. So this needs to be oriented with the positive z-axis going up into the turret. So I can just pick uh, one or, or both of these faces and select what's called a line Z under the home. I'm going to select a line Z and that's going to orient my turret, uh, my holder, so that it's going to be uh, mounted up against the turret face. So I'm, you know, I just read this in. I'm not really sure if this is the center of this bore. So what I'm going to do is just pick one of these cylindrical faces here and do an Align Z just to make sure. And now my tools are facing in the Y direction. And in a spree, if I'm standing in front of the machine, the red axis, the X axis, is going to be the axis that I want for my um, uh, tools facing the main spindle. So I'm going to right click, say, sit, uh, say select all. I'm going to go to copy and say rotate. I'm going to say move. And here I'm going to rotate it at a positive 90 degrees about the Z axis or the origin point. I'm just going to say OK. And my tool holder is now oriented and positioned correctly to load into the simulation machine setup. So now I just want to verify, I'm going to select the whole solid and see that yes, this is all one solid model. So there's not really any trimming or, um, you know, some of the components that you might bring in from an OEM might have a lot of different little detailed solids and that could add file size and maybe I don't want that. So you could delete some of that stuff. This one is a single solid, so we're basically left for what it is, but it should be a very small file size. So now what I want to do is I want to create uh, locations for the tool to be created. And depending on, you know, which uh, hand tool you want to put on each side, um, you know, it really just depends on, on uh, what you want to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up because wherever we place the tool location, that's going to be the side that the uh, insert is going to by default appear on the tool. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this set up so that the insert is on this side of both of these pockets. <clears throat> or maybe I'll have it so that it's facing inward uh, you know on each side so that basically the material is being pushed into the center line of this tool holder. So what I want to do is put the tool location on the outside of both of these tool pockets so that the insert would be on this side over here and then on this side over here. So how do we do that? Well this is already flush with you know the Z0 point so what I can do is just take translate and move this one to the center point, the middle point of that tool pocket. So when I create a tool, it should appear in the pocket with the insert facing the uh, positive, you know, the green, the positive uh, Y or V axis for the UVW here. So what I'm going to do now that I've done this, we want we're putting it here at the top at the edge of the turret so that when the tool appears it'll start here the square shank will come down you know let's say four inches with the insert facing in this direction which is what we would want for the uh, the tool for the simulation so I'm gonna come here 
go to work planes and create a TA in an HA location. I'll do this one on this side facing kind of the operator and then I'll translate this to here and I'll create another one and we'll call this TA underscore two and HA underscore two to be basically facing opposite or away from uh, the operator. So it's facing toward the back, the, you know, the tool position that's fit, that's on the back of the machine side of this, of this holder. And now that I've created all that stuff, uh, if I want to change any colors for this, I can do that now. I can select the whole uh, solid and maybe I'll change this to a darker gray. And if I want to rotate and look at their logo, maybe I want to change this to the yellow that they have on their logo. I'm going to come here to copy since we're we're uh, changing the, an individual face on a solid. We're using a different uh, technique. We're gonna go to copy, attribute, and then I'm gonna pick yellow. And once I do that, we have the MT logo in bright yellow. Okay, so now I can save my tool holder as a simulation solid. So this is going to be the file type holder files, GDML. And we've got the one that I did on a different video earlier, I'm just going to do OD turn double or dual and I'll put NLX and maybe I'll put 12 station here just so because this could be a 20 station uh, option turret on this machine and this holder is for a 12 station so I'll just go ahead and save that and we'll try and load it on the machine. So now that I've done that, we're going to go to the machine view, come to machine setup, and I'm going to load up the uh, machine. And we'll come in here and just kind of blow away the outside sheet metal for this. We'll go to tool assemblies, and I'm going to add an adaptive item. We're going to pick this one for 12 station that I just created. And we can see here that this is the dual uh, tool holder that I just created and it appears on the station correctly. So now uh, I'll say, okay, come down here, we'll add a turning tool. And when I create the turning tool, <clears throat> we see that on this one, the hand of the tool with the insert on that side, it comes into that, that pocket uh, perfectly. So that's great. Uh, what I'll do though is I'll kind of uh, grab this guy and drag him to tool position two. And then what I need to do is just reverse the hand of the tool. And we can see that the way that I created this, let me just go ahead and create both of them. Why, why not? So I'm just gonna go back and on this one, we're gonna switch that back to a left. So you can see the two tools are in the tool pockets. And as I was creating it, I was mentioning that I wanted the material to be pushed and the tool pushed up into the center line of the turret itself. Um, especially for a, maybe a heavy cut on this one here, it's gonna push into the tool, into the holder, which is gonna push into the turret, which is gonna be uh, pushed into the machine as opposed to pulling it away from the machine. So. Uh, this would be a good setup for this first tool here. Um, and just since I, I just did that other tool holder, I'm gonna snap, snap onto uh, station number two and pick a tool holder that I, I did in the just the previous video, turning tool, just so I'm not setting a bunch of stuff. So here we go, um, we've got both tool holders in there. You can see that once you've created the holder, or multiple holders, you just pick the station, you load it up, you just snap a tool into that tool position and everything should appear as it should.